am in the studio today and I am tufting the largest piece that I've ever tufted before. And so I thought I would kind of vlog style a little bit. So today I want to show you around my studio. It's very simple, very straightforward, but it works really well. First, over here, you've probably seen in my other videos, but I have this pegboard wall, which was really easy to make. It's just pegboards from Home Depot and some six inch straight hooks to stash my yarn on. And then I have this pegboard, which stashes. I've got like a loop pile gun. This is where my cut pile gun sits. Got some dusting, uh, vacuum stuff, and my broom. Then in this corner, I have my trash bins. This is just basic trash. And then down here is yarn scraps. Like all of this is just scraps. Wool is compostable and I'm gonna like look into what I can do with the scraps. So then I have this like storage unit situation. All of this stuff, the storage unit and the trash cans I got from Ikea. And I'm pretty sure these are actually like kids furniture. I'm a sucker for colorful things and these doors are pink and the handles are orange. The reason I like these is because they're huge. I think they're meant to like store toys and stuff. I can literally just like stuff my stuff in here. I've got like all of my tufting fabric here. I'm not a very organized person. I am not going to pretend like I am for the sake of this video. So having just like large spaces where I can just throw stuff is really helpful. This is just a drawer of things that I use. Projector, we got hair clippers, a camera, some duct tape. This drawer here is like where tufting pieces that I never finished go to die, unfortunately. I will revisit some of these. Um, there's one in here that I really wanna frame, but they were just like problem pieces that I haven't fully finished. And this is just like some other random shit. I told you I'm not very organized. And then finally, this is like my finishing. Yeah, this is like the bulky, non-skid, rubber-backed felt. I've got a drop cloth here. And then this is my glue. All of my glue stuff is in here. Top here, we have a cutting mat which I got from Joann's. Random little things. I got scissors and pens and other stuff and excess yarn. This is my six foot frame that I had custom made uh, from a local carpenter. Yeah, it takes up this whole wall. Lucky for me, it literally fits perfect in this little nook right here. <laughs> it's a weird angle, but this is, this is a, my yarn feeder. And I've mentioned in past videos that this is one of the most important things for your setup. And I, mine is like nothing fancy. In fact, it's kind of inconvenient because I'm still using my starter kit frame because it's like something I can just easily sit up and use this like piece here. Place this stand which holds the yarn cones directly below these two screw eye hooks then i feed the yarn through that and it creates a super consistent feed i almost never get it snagged on anything it's very efficient i always feed my gun with two strands of yarn and this is three ply New Zealand wool from tuftinggun.com and I always double it up. Over here I have my yarn supply that I plan to use. This is a pretty simple rug I'm doing. It's only going to be three colors. You can see I have a ton of yarn and I'm actually pretty nervous that this won't be enough. I'm going to see how far we can go with just this. 
I'm really excited to finish this rug. It's going in my bedroom and I have been envisioning this rug for so long. So to execute it in rug form, that's gonna be really large and sort of exist in this really special place in my bedroom. I'm just so excited to see it to fruition. So I'm gonna get started, get, get in the flow, get in the mood. Mm, 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 mm. Do some stretching first. Ooh. The tufting machine, depending on which gun you have, it can be pretty loud. And so I like to use noise canceling headphones. My former roommate said it kind of sounds like a mini jackhammer when she was in her room and I was in the garage, which her room was pretty close to the garage. I've never had any issues or complaints from neighbors. And I used to work out of my garage in like a complex where there was other units around and none of the neighbors ever had any issues with it that they expressed to me and now I currently live in an apartment where my tufting room is situated between two of the rooms in my apartment so I don't share a wall with any of my neighbors and I think that helps a lot as well but I also live in a place where there's it's common to hear construction going on so I don't think it's that big of an issue. my frame over so I can take a look at what I've tufted already and make sure that there's no spots missing. I'm gonna go through with some hair clippers and clean up these lines. These are the hair clippers that I use. They are wall brand from Target. I use them without a shield to clean up my edges. I also always wear a face mask when I do this because microfibers get everywhere i mean they already microfibers are already everywhere just like when i'm tufting and sometimes when my asthma is acting up i will wear a mask when i'm tufting but i especially use a mask when i'm shearing or trimming because those microfibers get in the air and therefore in my lungs 10 out of 10 recommend a face mask <laughs> So you can see there's a big difference between this one here, which I haven't shaved, and this one, which I have shaved. I like to leave the outside edge of the rug unshaved because that's something I do at the end as like a final step is trimming the outside edge. I do this with everything including like the typography I do and uh, even with small details. I think it just helps make the lines a lot more crisp. Oh, 
for quite a few hours today and I'm exhausted for whatever reason it's like 90 degrees in Los Angeles today and I'm feeling sweaty yeah thanks for hanging out with me today it's been really fun to start a new piece after a bit of a break this one I am planning to document my whole process with it because this is the first area rug that I'm I've ever made. I am using some new products. I'm gonna be finishing it in a different way, so stay tuned for that. If you are not subscribed, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we can hang out like this some more in the future. Well, I hope you have a lovely day, evening, um, afternoon, what have you. I'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs>